look very closely at your arm. Now look a little closer. Go ahead, I'll wait. Now look even more closely. If you had a pair of superhero magnifying glasses, oh, okay, or just a microscope, you discovered that the skin on your arm is made up of very small parts called cells. Cells are the building blocks of plants, animals, and all other living things. It's similar to creating a cool robot out of different types of Lego blocks. Cells, like these blocks, come together to create an awesome living thing. I will never forget when I got to go on a field trip to a candy factory to see how these sweet treats are made. I learned that it takes a lot of different machines and people to make little delicious pieces of tastiness. Both plant cells and animal cells work like their own little factories. There are parts on the outside to protect them, as well as parts on the inside to make sure the cells work. And although plant and animal cells have some similar parts, there are also some differences between the two. Let's explore the plant cell. The cell wall is much like the walls of a factory building. It protects the cell from everything outside of it and keeps it from losing its shape. This is a special part that can be found on plant cells, but not on animal cells. It's necessary because plants, unlike animals, do not have bones to hold them up. On the other side of the cell wall is a cell membrane. This is similar to the doors and paint on the factory wall. It keeps everything inside the cell, but it also allows certain things to enter and exit. What can be found inside cell walls? When you walk into a factory, you usually see a large area with lots of machines in it. That area is like the cytoplasm inside cells. Cytoplasm is a jelly-like substance that fills the plant cell where all the organelles or parts inside the cell can be found. Every factory also has a manager or someone who makes sure everyone is doing their jobs. The nucleus of the plant cell, like a manager, controls all the cell's activities. Plant cells, unlike animal cells, also have chloroplasts. These are like the power plant that make electricity for machines to work in a factory. Chloroplasts create energy that is needed for all parts of the cells to work. Chloroplasts are also what make parts of the plants green. When factory employees get hungry or thirsty, they usually go to the factory's restaurant or kitchen. Plant cells also have something similar called the vacuole. The vacuole usually stores food or other nutrients that the cell will use for energy. Plant cells are the building blocks of all plants. The main parts of the plant cell include the cell wall, cell membrane, cytoplasm, nucleus, vacuole, and chloroplasts. Although animal cells are similar to plant cells, animal cells do not have the cell wall or chloroplasts. 